Hello, today I wanted to bring you a Bridgerton inspired table. In fact, the entire dining room has been decked out. This will be a great inspiration for you if you would like to hold a watch party or a ladies luncheon or even just a tea party. Let's talk about some of the elements that I used to create this beautiful table. I'm gonna start and I wanna tell you what I often do is I wanted a really impressive centerpiece for when my guests arrive. So I used this beautiful swan planter and I filled it with a variety of pink and white florals. And I have a video where I'm gonna show you how to do this. But once my guests arrive, I'm going to want to move this out of the way because you can see it's a little large. Oh, it's a little heavy. So it's made a beautiful impression when they first arrive. And then I have a lower centerpiece to put on the table that the guests can see over and through. But I use the same collection of flowers. And I've just moved the swan over to um, a table that I have on the side. You can move it to a sideboard or anywhere. The big piece, floral piece I have back here is a oversized silver, it's actually aluminum punch bowl, and I have filled that with artificial flowers and pinks and whites. For my table, I took a, draped my table in a solid white tablecloth, and then I took a nice um, off-white kind of ivory uh, lace overlay to put on top of it. I used um, an ivory napkin that I tucked discreetly underneath the chargers. And for the chargers, I used this embellished charger that's in kind of in an off-white. And the china that I chose to use is the china that my husband bought me after we were married. This is Lace Point by um, Lennox. It's uh, beautiful and a classic, and it has just the softest little bit of gray and pink which went well with my flowers. I thought it was probably the most traditional um, dishes that I had. And with the coffee cup on saucer on top of this, this is not necessarily a formal table setting, but it's what I chose so that when my guests arrive, this is what they see. Um, a plate stack that has a charger, a dinner plate, a salad plate, and then the cup and saucer. And of course, I also have a sterling coffee pot and the sugar and creamer placed on a silver tray, something that you would see a lot in the Bridgerton um, homes when they're entertaining, and a pair of silver candelabras so that we have some light when it gets dark, like they do. And then I used the silver that was handed down to me. It's rather ornate. Um, that's from my mom. And this beautiful crystal uh, water glass and a wine glass. And this is um, the Navarre Clear pattern by Fostoria. And I did not have any fine crystal and found these on replacements. And I will put all of the descriptions or all of the links to any of these items in um, the description below. So, and if you have any questions, please comment and I'd be happy to um, get back to you with whatever, if I can answer your questions. And of course, what would it be without Lady Whistledown's society papers? So I just printed up just a little, um, something that's not particular to the, the luncheon, but something fun. For everybody. Um, you can get these um, ready to print yourself from Etsy and I'll list that below too. This is the small side table in my dining room where I moved the swan with the centerpiece in it and I also have a pretty uh, bust of a woman with a candle in it so I will light that this evening too. And then just to deck out the entire room I hung some wisteria, some artificial wisteria, just in the entryway to the dining room here. So when my guests come in the front door, this is what they're going to see. The dress I'm wearing came from Jessica. Kay. They have all kinds of very Bridgerton inspired dresses, beautiful things. And all of their dresses come in extra, extra small, up to 6X. So everybody can find something that will fit them. And then the lace gloves that I'm wearing came from Amazon and the tiara came from Amazon and my little 
fake hair that I added also came from Amazon. So I will put all of those. Oh, my necklace. My necklace is a Swarov, and my earrings are from Swarovski. So you can get something and do the whole look so that you're ready for your fantasy Bridgerton experience. I hope I've inspired you for your own Bridgerton watch party or tea party. And thank you for watching. If you have any questions, again, please put them in the comments and I will answer them. I will put um, links to all of the items that I've used so that you can find them and host your own Bridgerton or Regency themed event. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time right here. Thank you.